Welcome to the Land of House YouTube channel. I'm Seth, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that needs no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. So the typical ram pump is gonna have one valve here called the waste valve, and that is just gonna let the water snap this valve closed, cause a pressure wave to go into the pressure tank and lift water uphill. Somebody sent me an email with a video saying, what happens if you add a second waste valve to the first waste valve? <laughs> Basically a stacked waste valve. So my initial thought is that anytime you increase the height of your waste valve, it's going to reduce the head pressure. But maybe adding a second valve causes some kind of extra strong waste uh, pressure wave. So let's go ahead and test this out and see if having a stacked waste valve causes any change to the ram pump. So the setup is going to be, I'm going to have about five foot of input head pressure and I'm going to take a garden hose way up the hill to about the 30 foot mark. We'll run the pump without the second valve and then we will get a amount of water up top in one minute's time. Then I'll add the second valve and we'll get the same reading up top to see how much water we have in one minute. And that should give us a good idea of if this improves or decreases or stays the same in our test. All right, let's get to it. There's always a plane. Let me walk you through the setup we have so far. Now normally you would run a ram pump in a creek or a small river, but in this case my river is coming from my ram pump storage tanks way up the hill. So what we have is a five gallon bucket with a float valve and a large spider who's about to get a wild ride. So uh, we've got the drive pipe is half inch, about 20 foot long, comes down here to the half inch ram pump I'm using a garden hose as the delivery up the hill. I do have the waste valve slightly tilted to the side. That helps it to close a little bit easier. And so it's gonna go up the hill and to my half painted porch up there. So right where the hose goes up, which is right there, is 32 feet above the ram pump down here. And so the bucket right here is right at five and a half feet of head pressure. So we should have a nice flow rate per minute up top there. All right, let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is make sure there's no air in the drive pipe. So I'm gonna open that. Water's gonna rush down here, snap this valve. May have a little bit of debris in there. Yep, let me find something to open that for a second. I see a leaf or something in there. Oh, yep, that's what it was, a leaf. That's all it takes to uh, hold that open. So, what I'm gonna do now is cycle this valve until it starts working on its own because I've got the delivery closed. So, I may still have a little air in here. As I cycle this, it's building pressure in the pressure tank. As soon as enough pressure is built, it will start cycling on its own. Okay, there we go. Now, the annoying task of the ram pump when you first set it up is filling the delivery pipe up the hill. About where this Japanese beetle trap is, is the amount of back pressure required to keep this thing going. So when I open this, water rushes through, fills this thing to match the source water, and then I've got to press this valve down over and over again to push water up the hill until it reaches the point where there's enough back pressure. So one little secret you can do is you keep this almost closed and then you cycle this and it will start to introduce enough uh, false back pressure to keep this thing going while still allowing you to push water uphill. Otherwise, you're gonna push this valve a thousand times. Spider's not having a very good time. Took about 15 minutes, but I've got the delivery all the way open and the waste valve is clicking away, which means we have reached a point where there's enough back pressure pushing down on the pipe to keep everything going. So as soon as it starts reaching the top, we will do our time test. 
walked up here to the top and the water has now started to flow out. As you can see, it's not an incredible stream of water, but you give that 24 hours and it will add up pretty quick. So I'm gonna let this sit for about a minute to make sure it is the full stream. And then we will do our test here with a really dirty measuring cup. This is what happens when my kids make cakes out of dirt. All right, it's time to measure this. Flow rate per one minute with a single valve. Okay, at one minute we have exactly one and a half cups of water with a single valve. So let's walk down, down to the bottom and add the additional valve and then we'll do this test again to see how much water we have in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off the drive pipe and add this second valve. I'm going to make sure that it's oriented in the same tilt as the other one so that it will close easy enough. All right, there we go. We've got a stacked waste valve. I sure hope I can replicate the guy's results. Let's see. <laughs> there you go. It's wild, but it works. So you can see there are two valves and they seem to be working, hopefully in unison. As I walk up this hill for the uh, hundredth time today, let's make a prediction. I think that increasing the height of the waste valve is going to reduce the input head pressure and provide less water at the top. So uh, I guess we're gonna find out. It just seems like having that extra valve isn't gonna do anything. We do have output up top though, I can see it, so and it looks less than before. Okay, here we go, double waste valve. I want to take this time to say that I have ram pumps available at landthehouse.com and on Amazon. Links in the description down below. I've got half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, and inch and a quarter. The one we're using today is the half inch version. And as you can see, the output isn't huge, but it definitely will give you something, especially if you have a limited uh, source. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. One cup. So, it is definitely a reduced flow from before. Henry? Where are you, Henry? Have you drowned? Oh, nope, here you are. Well, it looks like our spider friend has crawled up under here. So he was floating around having a, a good old time, climbed up on the ball up here, and then up under the float valve. So the results are in. On the regular setup, we had a cup and a half in one minute with the double or stacked waste valve we had just one cup in a minute. So we can say that this pretty much proves it's better to have the waste valve as low as possible to have the highest amount of head pressure and one valve is definitely where it's at for providing the most water. So I think that is conclusive enough to say that you should definitely just stick with the regular single valve pump. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I do have these RAM pumps for sale at landahouse.com and on Amazon. If you have some comments about this test, leave those down below, and I will see you in the next video.